Hi, this is part of the New England Contradance Music for Five String Banjo series. Um, today, we're going to do La Bastrang, that classic uh, tune that would be done at uh, the beginning uh, of a contradance, you know, when you're just trying to get people off the uh, chairs and up dancing. That's a really simple dance that anybody can do. And uh, you are equipped with a five string banjo. And how are you going to play La Bastrang? Uh, La Bastrang is in the key of D. And we are going to tune our five-string banjos into modal tuning. Um, so it's going to be a G, D, G, C, D. And we're going to put on a capo because we have to play in the key of D. So we're going to slap on our capo at the second fret. Slap. And then we're going to take the fifth string and we're going to bring it up to an A. That's almost an A. So now we're in uh, modal tuning with the capo at the second fret to play out of the key of D. So we're going to play use C positions and play out of D. So here's a C chord, which is now a D chord. Right. Oh, so the notes will be A, E, A, um, D, E. So there's your D chord, and here is La Best String. The melody goes like this. Okay, piece of cake. This tune's really simple and beautiful. When I was a kid, this is my favorite melody. <laughs> I don't know why, I just liked it. So let's do the melody a little. Just a C chord, a D chord. And I like to do a pull off here. Third to second fret on the first string. So I'm pulling off then open second string, then the fourth fret of the third string. Try that. You could also do a drop thumb there, that would be nice. You could go, I'm sorry. You can do a drop them uh, hitting the thumb on the second string of the fourth fret. That sounds nice. Your choice. And then hitting open second string. All right. That's the beginning. And that's the call and the response is. I'm, t I'm fretting the third string at the fourth fret. Doing a little strum after that. Then going right up that second string. Open, two, four, open. Let's do that, both of those, both of those parts. Linear bump a dump a dump a dump a dump a dump a dump a dump. You could do a strum there, or just to keep that uh, thumb and index finger going. Then the first part happens again. Then we're gonna 
tie it off with an, and we're going to end it with a. Yeah, that's very satisfying. Open second string. Let's do the whole A part. Plenty of places to do pull-offs, hammer-ons, drop your thumb. Again, uh, the most important thing is the rhythm better never than late as joe bass says let's do the b part the b part is the big sucker punch on this tune because the b part all of a sudden stuff happens and it's a little tricky um uh, we're gonna do a we're gonna go up to the fifth fret and play this d chord um uh middle finger at the fifth fret uh the new fifth fret with the capo on um index finger at the fourth fret ring finger at the fifth fret c chord so we're gonna go it's just these arpeggios try that just again it's index finger thumb back and forth and then we're gonna drop that a whole step down to a b flat or actually a c chord in this case uh, because we're gonna have the capo one so it's gonna go d chord to a c chord very satisfying change Practice that a couple times. Then we're going to uh, throw in this lick that is, we're going to compromise the melody a little bit because to do it exactly as the fiddle would do it would be impossible. Or it would it, the chances of you getting out of rhythm would be very great, which you cannot do. You're going to go drop the thumb from the seventh fret to the seventh fret of the first string, fifth fret of the second string. And then hit the first string open. And then we're gonna follow the, uh, go from the second string, uh, second string down to the fourth fret of the third string to the second fret of the third string. All right, this is the thing you're gonna have to practice more than anything else for this tune. the actual melody but the melody we're gonna do is so the whole beginning of the B part would go like this that's the hardest part of the tune Second half of the B part. Again, we're going to tie it off going up to that seventh fret again. And whenever you hit a strum, you want to make a chord. So you want to make that D chord. You don't want to hit open string. It's going to sound weird. So it's the whole B part's going to go like this.
I say, not as I do. You get the idea. Uh, it's a really fun tune. Get it up to tempo, get it up to 115, um, and you're going to be great for playing the banjo at country dances. This is a good tune number one for all you people who want to do this. Thank you.